two of swords. Okay, so Aries is all about that really just explosive energy and just moving and acting, right? And a lot of times, like, you know, we don't know what direction to move in. And, you know, as an Aries is like the very beginning sign of the zodiac, it's that starter energy. It's a very young energy. It's a very undeveloped energy. A lot of times we have no clue how to move other than through impulse, but the thing that develops right after impulse is logic. It's like how we think through things. But the interesting thing about the Two of Swords is, is that like your normal way of figuring out how to move through space and time, like weighing things out and making a decision, that's not going to work for you now. Being just consciously directive about what you desire, you know, that Aries energy, like again, it's very young, it's very egoic, and it's very childlike. And so what it wants, what it desires is based on what we can perceive in our mind. Okay, and what this card is asking, my dear Aries energies, is to really dip down into what is within you in this moment. Okay, so what, what intuitively, what internally lights your fire, inspires you to move? What do you desire to know more deeply about yourself? These are things that you need to move in honor of. It's not about logic at this moment. We need to interface more deeply with our intuition because this is going to be the new thing that kind of leads Aries into making decisions and pursuing themselves in a fuller way. It's not just thinking through things. It's going to be like actually connecting to what they feel and not just impulsive, you know, um, reactionary feelings, but like, you know, what do I desire to feel and what have I experienced in the past that feels aligned with that and how can I line my life up to, to create more of that feeling? A lot of that is less about logic and more about being able to fully interface with our emotional states and being really in touch with them. So for Aries to fully pursue themselves in a deeper way, you're going to have to dig deep into your emotional state, dig deep into your intuition and see if you can... See if you can find a direction to move through just saying, I want to know what is within me that wants to come out. I want to know the direction that my heart wants me to go in. And you just let it be and see if a direction emerges. And that'll be one way that you can start practicing uh, with your intuition and, and, and seeing it flex a little bit.